Hello, my friends. I would like to talk to you a little bit about money and specifically making change from a dollar. Now, you guys probably already know that a dollar is made up of 100 cents or 100 pennies it would take to make one dollar. So I want you to think about that. When we think about a dollar, we want to think about it as being a hundred. Okay, so here's a hundreds chart. So each one of these little spaces makes up one penny, and there's a hundred of them in one dollar. Okay, that's the first thing that you need to know. There's a hundred pennies in one dollar. Now, I want you to think for me about um, if you go to the store, let's say you go to the store and you want to buy an eraser that costs 10 cents. It costs 10 cents. So here I created a little... Um, chart this is just a hundred blank squares each square on here or each little rectangle actually stands for one cent okay so if you go to the store and you buy an eraser that costs 10 cents this what's highlighted in pink that's 10 okay that's the part of the dollar that you're spending so if you spend 10 cents how much of the dollar is left how much would you get back so let's say you buy a little eraser that costs 10 cents, you hand the cashier a dollar. How much change is the cashier going to give you back? Do you already have an idea? Well, if this is 10, how much is here? This would be 90 cents. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Because 90 and 10 make a hundred. So really, when you're thinking about it, you're thinking about two parts, okay? I'm gonna draw a little thing on my, on this paper for you. Just like when we talked about the part to hole before, this time, every time our hole is going to be a hundred because a hundred cents make up one dollar. This time, the part that we spent was 10, okay? So we have to find this other piece or the other part. So if we used up 10, how many are we gonna have left? We would have 90 left, okay? And 90 and 10 make 100. Let's take a look at another one. Let's look at this top one first. So this top one, there's 100 little spaces again. Each one stands for one cent. And if I look at the part that I have spent, it's shaded in blue this time, okay? So if you go to the store and you buy something that costs 50 cents, you give the cashier a dollar, how much are you going to get back? I'm gonna let you take a peek at this first, okay? And I'm gonna set up our part to whole. So I'm setting up my part to whole model over there. My whole is 100. Every time right now, it's going to be 100 because a dollar is worth 100. And if we spent five tens or 50 cents, what's the part that's still left? You got it, 50 cents. So you can find that answer a couple of different ways. You can start here and count how much you have left, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Or you could do 100 minus 50 would be 50, right? Let's look at another one. These ones are a little bit more challenging because they're not just dealing with tens. So if we look at this one, first of all, the pink is what I'm spending. That's the amount that the object I'm trying to buy costs. So let's look at this one. How many tens do we have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And when you look at this row, each one of these has, has 10 in it. So if we look here, we know this is going to be 9 because there's 1 here. And we know that 9 and 1 make a 10, right? That's why those 10 specs are so important. So we've spent 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 9 cents. So let me set up my part to whole. My whole is going to be 100 because a dollar is made up of 100 cents, and we're spending 59 cents. Now, I want to show you a really cool trick, okay? 
if we're trying to find out how much we're going to get back, let's first complete this row. How many is it going to take us to fill in this row of 10? Just one. And then how many tens do we have left? 10, 20, 30, 40. So we're going to get back 41 cents. Okay, so there's our part to whole. Do 59 and 41 make 100? They do. Because 50 and 40, that would be 90. And 9 and 1 make a 10. So that would be 90 plus 10 makes 100. Okay, let's look at another one. This one, what's shaded in green is the part of the dollar that I have spent. So I've spent 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 8 cents. I didn't have to count all these because I know that 8 and 2 make a 10. So do you see the part of the dollar that I'm going to get back? Yeah, we're going to get back 12 cents, a 10 and two ones. So we have 100 is our whole, 100 is our whole, we spent 88 cents, and we're gonna get back 12 cents, okay? So first, I just want you to be thinking about the 100 when you're getting change back from a dollar as two parts. You have 100, you have the part that you spend, and you have the part that you get back. And every time, these two pieces are going to make 100. You have 80 and 10, which is 90, and 8 and 2, which makes another 10. So you've got 90 and 10 is 100, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that first because that's really what we're doing. We are doing two parts of 100. The part we spend, the part we get back. 